Good morning. The band opened our service this morning with a plea for the Holy Spirit to enter each one of us. You notice the words at the end. It said, all that hinders shall be thrown aside. Make me fit to be thy dwelling. We don't have to come to God after we're ready. We come to God just as we are, and he fills us with his spirit and makes us fit to be his children. What a wonderful promise that is, that we don't have to try to change ourselves before we can come into the presence of the Holy Spirit and of the Lord Jesus Christ and of God Almighty himself. He makes us fit to be his dwelling. So we hope you've come this morning praying for the Holy Spirit to give you a blessing. He will, because he's promised to be among us. And we are very delighted that you're here with us this morning in Clearwater. Our new Sergeant Major, Major Sergeant Major Doug Rowland, has not decided that he doesn't want to give announcements, but he's giving the sermon today. So he's asked me to do that instead of him. So that's why I'm doing this instead of Doug. He's done, he does a very good job with the announcements, and we don't want you to think that he decided he didn't want to do that. But there are, uh, make sure you read your source. There are lots of things happening. Um, there is a special guest coming for Bible, Bible conference. There is a night in Italy. We can eat spaghetti. We can eat pasties. We can, have, we can celebrate a birthday. We can pray. Prayer concerns on the back of your program. We want to make sure that you understand what is available for your service, for your fellowship, and for your pleasure here at um, the Clearwater Corps. Next Sunday, we do want to draw to your attention, it's Advisory Board Sunday. There will be Advisory Board members worshiping with us next Sunday, and also Bram Bailey from National Headquarters will be here. Uh, he is the son of uh, Major Fred Bailey, but he's also the, the uh, Salvation Army World Services Organization representative, and he will be telling us what the Army is doing around the world. So you'll want to be sure and uh, come in here, Bram. We, in the, in the Salvation Army, we have a wonderful opportunity to affect people in far corners of the earth, places to which we never hope to go. We never hope to visit some of these places, but we can affect the lives of those people. So we want to make sure we, we hear what Bram has to say next week. Um, I do need to make an announcement about the pasty supper. The pasty dinner is on January the 30th. That's just about a week and a half away. And it's a little bit different this year. Um, you, need a, you need a ticket. You need to buy a ticket beforehand. The tickets are on sale in the lobby. $7.50 gets you a pasty and um, salad, dessert, um, beverage, service, table service. You don't, you don't have to go through a line. People serve you at your table. And it's a wonderful opportunity. If you don't know what pasties are, it's a great opportunity to come and find out what we're talking about when we're talking about pasty sale. But also, it is, it, all, the world, all the proceeds go to our World Services effort here at Clearwater. So make sure you buy a ticket if you intend to, um, to come to the dinner January the 30th. And it starts at, I'm not sure, look at your ticket. I think around 4.30 to 5. It's a Thursday, so there's band and songs here, so we start a little early. But band and songs, you also need to get a ticket. That's new this year. So make sure of that. And if you intend to order pasties, you can put in your order at the same time. And there are always um, our donations being taken. That's at the bottom of the, what, the third page in your source. Gold medal flower, Crisco shortening, monetary donations are always welcome. And if you'd like to be part of that, just check your program and see how you can make a donation toward our pasty sale. It's always a huge thing. I think we're up to over 2,000 pasties now that we bake every year. Um, it's, people, it's something people really enjoy if, you're, if, you're, um, if you know what a pasty is, and it, it, it adds greatly to our World Services effort. So you want to be part of that. We're always glad to have visitors in our service. I'm seeing face, some faces I don't recognize. Uh, not everyone is comfortable. If you're comfortable, you'd like to stand and tell us who you are and where you're from. If you have family here, it's your opportunity to introduce your family. Uh, we'd like to know who's visiting. It just takes one. Yes, sir. We'll have a microphone for you to come down so we can hear what you have to say. I take it you're a salvationist from somewhere. Yes, I'm are. a trained observer. <laughs> Yes, good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Fred Jeffrey, retired Corps Sergeant Major, my wife Shirley Ann, and we're from the uh, Maritime Division of Nova Scotia, the Westville Citadel Corps, and it's been snowbound for the past three weeks. We're glad to have you. <laughs> and we're very happy to be back here in Clearwater. Nova Scotia. We don't get a lot of people from Nova Scotia. Welcome. Anyone else? Yes, ma'am. I'm Jean Farragher. Um, I come from the Isle of Man. It's a little island in between England and Ireland. We're in the Irish Sea. It's only, 
only very small, 30 miles by 11 miles. Well, I'm glad to uh, have you. Two years ago, the majors, um, Ted and Pam, allowed us to renew our wedding vows in Orlando. So we, we came to visit them, but we we've had, took them out for a meal. We've had, we've had fun with them. Okay. Thank you. Good. I'm glad you're here. Yes, so, There's one behind you. Salvation is over here. Yes. From? Oh. Yes. Jesse uh, Kelly Collins. We're from Peoria, Illinois. And we were here for a conference and have never been to the wonderful core of Clearwater. Have been always in uh, St. Pete, where my grandparents, Bernie and Myrtle Lodge, were for decades. And my parents then were. So it's wonderful to be in the Clearwater core today. Because yes, Peoria got how much snow? I don't even know. Yes. I've been in Florida. Uh, <laughs> my name is Bob Whipple and my wife Trina. And uh, we reside here in the wintertime at a uh, local park. And we are from the Maritimes, St. John, New Brunswick. And our home church today is closed because of a snowstorm. Oh. So we're really happy to be here and share God's message with everybody. We're glad to have you. Thank you for coming today. Yes, sir. Yes. Um, my name is Paul King. I'm from England, from Northampton, England. Sometimes I like to be called Paul King of England. Uh, and uh, I'm here visiting again, and it's very good to be with my friends Mel and Esther and um, Bud and Thelma and my host John and Shirley Clemens from Iowa and Connie here. It's good to be here. Good Thank to be. You. Good to have you here today, sir. Down front? Yes, sir. My name is Bill Harris. Pat and I are here. from Durham, North Carolina, visiting my cousin, Lieutenant Colonel Tom Jones and Mary Jones, which is always a pleasure. Glad to have you here today. Anyone else that I want to, yes, yes sir. I'm Al Phillips from Salisbury, North Carolina, <laughs> and I have my lovely white mother here that is from Lois Phillips, and she used to go to the Salvation Army here years ago. Um, so she's here visiting to you, from you, from Brooksville, Florida, today. Nice to have you here. Anyone else? I don't want to miss anyone. Let's welcome all of our visitors this morning. Thank you, Craig. Here are the call to worship. This is God's word. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me, and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. That's a promise from the Lord himself. This is his word, and we believe it. The Lord be with you as you worship this morning. <laughs> 